In this video, I'm going to show how you can use the command line client to the Protege OWL server to use the Protege OWL server with other tools other than Protege. Um, in this case, in this video, we will actually do it with a uh, text editor, but you could use um, any tool you want. So the first step, I'm going to go over to the server and um, take a look at what's on there. So um, I type in the IRI. I'm going to log in as my colleague Jennifer. And what I see over there is I see a, um, a thesaurus and two directories. And I'm going to do some work in the pizzas directories. Now, unfortunately, this version of the program doesn't understand key rings, so we have to log in every time, which is something I'd like to fix. So this is a um, directory on the server that has a bunch of pizzas. and um, first thing that Jennifer's going to do is she's going to upload another pizza. So this is just one of my pizzas from a directory that has lots of pizzas in it. So we're going to upload the, the pizza. Um, well, it's not the first, but it's a copy of the pizza ontology. And then if we list again, There's um, there's another pizza been added, and um, then um, Jennifer will want to check this out, so she will um, check it out. So now Jennifer's checked this thing out, and she has her own local copy of the pizza. She can um, ask for the status of her local copy. And it says that on the uh, that she's up to date. The latest revision on the server is number one. The latest local her local revision is number one, and it tells her where it got it from. So now we're going to look at the consequences of what Jennifer's done over here in the protege um, in the protege tool so um, this um, in this demo will imagine that the protege tool is being run by me and I'll log under log on under my own name And we see, in fact, there is Pizza 04, the one we just added. And I load it into, um, into um, Protege. I go to this location in the ontology where all the action is going to happen. And I will save it as my own copy. OK. So um, now um, this copy, the Redmond's version of the um, with the protege, we're going to watch the things that Jennifer does. So um, Jennifer now is going to edit her copy of the uh, pizza. Oh, let me do that differently. Better. And she's going to make two changes. She's going to refactor uh, cheesy pizza to cheesy pizza changed. And since I've done this before, I practiced this video. It remembers, Emacs remembers that that's what I'm doing. 
and I'm going to make a change to interesting pizza. So interesting pizza, what I'm going to do is there is this restriction here, which um, if you know the ontology, it says that the interesting pizza is equivalent to all those pizzas that have at least three toppings. So I'm going to change that three to five. And um, so now Jennifer can say, OK, maybe she's been editing for days. Who knows? Um, she can say, OK, what, what do I have that's not checked out? that's not checked in. And you get these uncommitted changes. Um, so the one thing is that she renamed Cheesy Pizza to Cheesy Pizza Changed. So all the axioms associated with Cheesy Pizza have been replaced with their equivalent versions of axioms associated with Cheesy Pizza Changed. And then the other thing she did is she changed the Interesting Pizza. She changed the number of toppings of Interesting Pizza to 3 to 5. Um, so now she can commit. So now she's committed, and now if you ask um, the status of her um, of her ontology, she's a revision one, and there's a revision two, which is has her commits in it, and um, so now we can go over here, and as Redmond, I can monitor this this progress. Oops, I don't need to do that. What I really need to do, because I've already loaded the um, the, the uh, ontology in, I um, just need to do, nope, that's not what I want to do either. I need to look at show change history. And it shows, there's the first copy. That's the thing that I loaded in initially. That's revision one. The pizza has been loaded in. And then up here are Jennifer's changes. You can see, um, you know, removing the cheesy pizza axioms, adding the cheesy pizza changed axioms. These are her changes. And so we see that um, Jennifer has done some stuff. And I can, in fact, update, because I'm at revision 1. I go to revision 1 to revision 2. The um, You see the Cheesy Pizza changed its name. It's now Cheesy Pizza Changed. The interesting pizza, now you see that it requires at least five toppings. You can see that it made these changes. And to show that we can coordinate back and forth, even though Jennifer is using um, Emacs and I'm using Protege, I'm going to make a change again. I'm going to move the interesting pizza now has at least seven toppings. I commit. And then I... Um, and then you can see that if you ask, uh, she asks the status of her ontology. She's um, she's a couple of revisions behind. Okay, so we can commit. Um, oh wait, I didn't need to commit. Sorry, my mistake. I need to update. She updates, she's at revision 3, and you see that interesting pizza, the min cardinality has changed to 7. And so um, what I've demonstrated is that Jennifer was able to upload an ontology onto the server. She was um, able to check the ontology out. She was able to edit and make changes and commit the changes back in. She was able to then um, update and see changes made by another user using a different kind of client. And um, that's my video. Uh, thank you, and I will talk to you later.